Throughout history, man has done a really good job at messing up our home we call planet Earth. In this video, we're going to explore how buffalo might be a key component to saving our planet. Starting around the turn of the century, our planet decided to change its farming practices. We went from working with the earth to working against the earth. Our food was once a labor of love. You could find farmers in their fields pulling a plow behind a horse, sowing next year's crop by hand, spreading natural fertilizers like cow manure and bird guano. Weeds and insects were controlled by skill that was passed down through the generations. For thousands of years, the planet was fed through this way of life. Year after year, the ground continued to produce more and more nutrients and abundance for the human race. So what happened? Why in just the last century have we abandoned the what seems to be romantic story of our interaction with the land. It was January 1879 when Thomas Edison flipped on the first light switch. 1886 arrived and Carl Benz applied for his first patent on an automobile that ran off of gasoline. In 1892, in the tiny village located in northeast Iowa, John Froelich fired up the first tractor. 1903 came and the first chemical fertilizer was brought to market. 1913 arrived and Henry Ford successfully implemented his first assembly line. 1939, DDT became the number one pesticide for crops. In 1944, the new herbicide 2,4-D changed the world forever. Every invention, every innovation, every piece that we call progress has built upon the previous piece of the puzzle. All of these pieces have led us to a place that is unrecognizable from our not so distant past. You might say, what's the problem with progress? Well, nothing. If it's just that, progress. We call ourselves stewards of God's green earth, but the farming practices that have been implemented over the course of the last 100 years did not think or want to take into consideration what this was going to do for the next generation, us. The herbicide laid down on the ground killed off everything, soil microbes, ladybugs, earthworms, everything both good and bad. The pesticides were not biased as to what lives they would affect, both small and large. We built fences and placed our cattle in one open field, expecting them to care for the land as it should be intended. The little interaction we have as ranchers consists of mixing up our diesel and chemical solution to spray our cattle's backs for flies and then pumping them full of antibiotics to counteract the literal animal byproduct we give them that we call feed. God has entrusted us to be gardeners, caretakers, of this entire planet. How do you think he would say we handled this task? These practices have depleted our soil, damaged our insect population, poisoned our rivers, streams, and left us with health problems we will be battling for generations. The sins of our past have left us with what seems to be a very bleak future. Or is it? The first step in fixing a problem is recognizing you have one. There has awakened a movement to reconcile our troubles and do something about it. We call it regenerative agriculture or holistic management. Can we reverse the damage done? By studying the wild and nature, we can find the solutions to all of these problems. One of the major keys to unlocking the pathway back where we came from is diversity in our soils, waterways, grasslands, woodlands, and skies. Observation has been given to buffalo that when they come back to an area, they bring back wildlife and diversity with them. The birds use buffalo hair to build stronger nests. The mice and rodents also use it to keep warm in the winter. Buffalo have an innate sense of herd mentality. They stay together for safety from predators when grazing. What that does is it creates pressure on the ground. The soil gets aerated from their hooves. The grass and weeds get eaten more evenly and their manure slash fertilizer becomes spread across the field in a more even pattern. We can take all of these things and more we learn from buffalo and nature and implement them onto our farms and ranches. We can make multiple pastures and move our animals often, thus mimicking what nature does every day. Before we try to control pests and weeds, we can ask the simple question whether or not what we are trying to do will improve the soil, water, grass, air, and the next generation's health and prosperity. Instead of taking that cruise, we can make the choice to purchase food from a local farm that is trying to regenerate our earth. We can have a relationship, know and understand where our food comes from, and spend just a little bit more from our wallets instead of purchasing from who is contributing to the problem. Let me be clear, traditional farmers and ranchers are not 
the problem. They are the backbone of our world and we should be grateful for their sacrifice and hard work. Today's farmers and ranchers keep everyone alive today. The problem is the methods being used, not the people using the methods. It is not us versus them. We are all part of one race, the human race. So what are we going to do about this problem? Are we going to blindly look away? Or are we going to do what is hard and make sacrifices for the next generations to come?